Join me today as we learn about recursive CDs and how to use them when you need to work with hierarchical or recursive data. Hello everyone and welcome to Desktop Channel. A column table expression or CTE is a temporary result set that you can reference as a select statement and it can be used to simplify complex queries by breaking them up into smaller and more manageable pieces. But what about you when you need to work with hierarchical or recursive data such as an organizational chart or a tree-like structure? That's where recursive CTEs come in. A recursive CTE is a special type of CTE that references itself and allowing you to build complex queries over hierarchical data. It works by defining an anchor member, uh, which represents the base case or stopping point for the recursion, and a recursive member, which defines the logic for how to traverse the hierarchy. So imagine we have a table called employees, and that stores information about the employees in a company, including their name and the name of their manager, uh, we can use recursive CTE to build a query that shows the full hierarchy of employees and their relationships. So I will show you this in a demo, so come with me. So the first thing we need to do is create our table and insert some registers. So we will create an employees table like I was talking with an employee ID, employee name and a manager ID. So then we're going to insert some registers. You can see that we're going to just insert the employee ID, the name of the employee and we will reference the manager ID that is reference to the employee ID. So imagine this as an uh, uh, organizational or uh, 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 enterprise hierarchy where you have a manager that uh, have so uh, uh, many employees responding to them and all, uh, that employees are also manager of some employees that are responding to them. So this is a traditional hierarchy. Uh, and the thing we're going to do is uh, we already created our table and we're going to add some registers to work with. So let's take a look at our data. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, we have the, the, a perfect example in the employee ID number one, the John Smith has no manager associated. That means that John Smith is the top of the hierarchy and all the other employees that has the manager ID equals to one responds to him. So what we're gonna do is implementing the uh, recursive CTE and build an hierarchy uh, look like with employee name and manager name. So, uh, the city is defined using the with keyword followed by the name of the city. Uh, we're going to call it them the employee hierarchy. So the anchor member uh, is defined using a select statement and this select statement selects all the employees who do not have a manager. So the manager ID is equals to one. Uh, as there are the top level employees in the hierarchy, it also includes a column called manager name, which is a copy of the employee name column and is given as an alias of manager name. So this is because this manager, the manager where manager ID is null, it's because it responds to himself. So this is our own manager. So we use the keyword union hall to union to our recursive member. So the recursive member is defined also using a select statement that will reference the CTA itself. So in this case, we are joining the employees table with the CTE on the manager ID of the employee and the employee ID of the manager, which allow us to build uh, the hierarchy by traversing up the chain of the managers. So we are going to run this piece of code and see how the, this hierarchy uh, results. So 
So let's take a look at our data. Here we go. So as you can see here, uh, you you will have a, a hierarchy like um, with employee name, with manager name, and you can use uh, these recursives as with many levels as you want. Okay. So you one thing that you you need to be careful is that recursive CTE has a default limitation of 100 iterations. So imagine if you have 100 uh, registers. Uh, if you uh, have 10 more 10 more registers uh, and you will uh, run the CTE, uh, that will crash. You will get an error because of a data limitation of a recursive and iteration limitation of 100. This is in SQL Server, in other database uh, systems, you may have another limitations, but you can avoid that using an option recursive that you can set here in your select after from, and you can set your max recursion to wherever you like. So here I'm setting up to, uh, up to 200, and it will work anyway if we run it. Okay. So uh, we will have a link uh, in the description uh, of this video with all the Microsoft documentation that you can check and uh, see uh, we, all the options that you have to, to build your recursive CTE with different scenarios. So that's it all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos as we explore SQL Server together. Bye.